Good day guys, Austin here, and today it's a fucking news flash. News fucking flash. Well, those of you who have been keeping tabs on the old Hyperspin website, you will know that basically over the last few months or so, if not more, um, the guy, uh, big bad boy Bill, who basically is the, I suppose, creator, founder, owner of uh, Hyperspin, he has come back and he's been working on a newer version, a newer release of Hyperspin. Now he's gone through various stages of beta releases or beta releases. How the fuck do you say that? Beta, beta? I don't know. Basically, it's been going through various stages uh, and it's evolved into its latest evolution, which is 1.4. And it's now been released not just for the Platinum members, which it was beforehand, but now it's for every user. As long as you've got an account over at Hyperspin, you can now download the 1.4 version. Um, well, some of the features that it says it boasts is uh, controls are standard. So apparently, I've not tested this as of yet. As you know, my computer is going through the fucking graveyard at the moment. But apparently, it has controls already built into it. In terms of if you've got a controller, it's pick up and play. So now there's no need for X Padder, um, Gucci scripts, and all that kind of stuff. Unless there's something that you want to draw from that in the first place, anyway. So basically, it's now become plug and play for your controller or your arcade. Uh, again, I'm not sure. Somebody confirm that? I don't know. Um, also, improved transitions and smoother transitions. So basically, as you're flicking through the wheels, it's supposed to be a lot more smoother. Uh, themes load up a lot more cleaner, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, more options than your layouts basically there was a few bugs and stuff and some of the layouts didn't work particularly well apparently they've been improved and overall bug fixes to be honest uh, there's probably loads more than that to be honest but I just want to get the information out basically it's there for you to try it doesn't take much it's just a case of downloading the most recent uh, executable file in a couple of folders and just um, putting them over your old install again <laughs> word of warning big flashing lights everywhere <laughs> Make sure you back up everything before you do it, in terms of the f at least the files that you're going to be overwriting. And I would do a little bit more research than what I just told you. I'd go onto the website. It, I think it is just a case of overwriting a few files. But there is knock-on effects. I have heard that some people are having issues with the new beta version. Well, I suppose that's why it was a beta. It's now called the stable version, but in essence it is still the beta version 15. It's just that because it's not being worked on anymore, they've decided to release it. Wise choice, to be honest, because now it's open to everybody to experience in its full splendor, rather than just being kept for those that have paid monetary funds. Okay then, so what else has been going on then? Basically, for those of you who know, my PC is fucking... Well, it did die. It was going through... It was a nightmare, an ongoing nightmare. There was tears, there was bad passions, everything on a daily basis around me not just in me but around me because my pc was fucking killing me basically i was pressing the on switch it would last a couple of hours a uh, couple of hours a couple of minutes and then it would die uh it, the, the cpu was overheating that i finally diagnosed it as and i was trying i don't know fucking reseating the fans reseating the water blocks cleaning it all out dust everything and finally it ended up being the fucking one thing that i didn't want it to be which was i had to buy a new water block all done, all installed. Um, so now we're all up and going back with the hyperspin machine again. Um, so we're going to be doing a lot more hyperspin installs from now on, which is exciting. Um, along with that, with the new uh, release, as everything's now become stable, my hyperspin system's fucking working and all that kind of good stuff, I do feel that the next video that I'm going to be releasing is most likely to be. Uh, the 1.4 install guide. I'm going to do it for those people who are fresh and just new coming because the old video was a bit fucking, I don't know, ancient now. It shows you from the old website. It was like my first video, so I'm um, like s -s 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 stuttering and shit all the way through it. So I'm going to revisit that one, get it so it's a bit more, I don't know, user friendly for the people who are brand new to the scene because we've all been there before, haven't we, guys? Um, so I'm going to do a, a rehash of that. I'm basically, I'm going to show you how to start from scratch with Rocket Launcher 1.4. And I'm also going to be showing you how to, um, well, repatch over. If you want to, you know, 
get to the latest version of Rocket Launcher, you can. I'm going to show you how to do that. There's no saying you have to. At the end of the day, if your fucking machine's working, it's working. There's no need to, I don't know, kick something that's not broken. So, yeah, that's going to be the next thing, most probably. Um, to be honest, that will not be a long video. And I'm going to try to pump out <laughs> this week, if possible, um, the, the promised... The promised holy grails of hyperspin install guides, which are the PlayStation 1, including all the media and art and all that kind of stuff that I promised, and the Amiga. Those are the next two guides that will be released for hyperspin systems. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to it to be honest. It's been fucking ages since I got stuck into it and started doing it. And. The next thing that's going to be happening after that, because this is what brings me in the complete evolution of it all, is I'm going to be showing another video. Basically, I'm going to be starting a new series, at least one video, at least. Um, I got myself bits and bobs that I've been scavenging from building people's machines and uh, deals going on here and there and stuff. And I'm going to be showing you, um, if you want to, of course, how to build the cheapest emulating machine that runs everything if that makes any sense so obviously you, you, anyone can go out and buy any old computer and get whatever they can run on there you know there's limitations on certain emulators and all that kind of good stuff but what I want to do is show you how to build a machine that will play everything for the minimum cost so I'm I mean like PlayStation 2 running full graphics um, GameCube, Wii, all that kind of good stuff. Everything, full graphics, everything working the way it should do. The most stable version of everything. And without breaking the fucking bank. We're not talking about supercomputers here. I'm talking about, I don't know, a couple of hundred dollars. Um, get you up and running with everything, including um, all PC games, to be honest. Uh, don't get me wrong, you are probably going to have to fiddle around with certain PC games. <laughs> I mean, there's some quite hefty ones out there. But I'm going to be showing you, you know, a nice little guide to get at least the new guys started and what they need to expect. If they want to start playing, I don't know, all the, the consoles that, well, I love to be honest. You know, PlayStation 1, Dreamcast, GameCube, Wii, PlayStation 2, all that kind of good stuff. So that's going to be a new series that I'm going to be bringing out. Uh, okay, then obviously we're going to start going through all the fucking hyperspin videos that I haven't finished yet. Oh, fucking me, there's loads. <laughs> Absolutely fucking loads. But I enjoy them, to be honest. It keeps my mind occupied, it keeps me on my toes. I learn along with you guys, because basically I've got to do it with you guys each time. And although I've done it on my system, I have to do it all over again. And in many cases, I've not touched that system with fucking donkeys. So, you know, it keeps me up and keeping me on my toes but also it gets me looking for new updates I don't know whether I was using an older emulator it gets me searching looking for more workarounds whether modules have changed so it gets everything up to date if you get what I mean and then obviously we're going to be working on the Megacade still a fucking few videos to run on that one and my apologies for the lack of uh, videos in the last couple of weeks this is time for the little tiny violins, guys. Basically, um, those of you who don't know, um, last week I was in hospital. I had quite a hefty operation on my leg. Um, it's kind of wiped me out quite a lot. I'm in uh, full plaster, and obviously mobility and medication is making its impact on <laughs> what I can do at the moment. So that's why, basically, there's not been any real updates, even though my computer's been fixed, I haven't been able to smash out any, uh, you know, tutorials, guides, or videos in the last, you know, week or so. So, look forward to that anyway, guys, because I'm on the mend anyway, and don't worry, I'm still here. <laughs> okay, then, that's enough of my fucking waffles and shit for today. I'm sure I've all bored you enough as it is, but look forward, I'm, like I said, I'm going to get these uh, new videos out as soon as I can, especially the uh, install guide for the new uh, updated versions and especially especially because I promised you this for fucking ages PlayStation 1 and Amiga top of my list guys don't you worry top of my list so without further ado thank you very much guys please subscribe and do all the same shit as you always do so you get all these bountiful gifts that I'm bestowing upon you on a fucking weekly basis 
and uh, you have a good day. Laters!